What's going on guys, it's Tom York, and today we're going to be talking about everybody's favorite video game chain, GameStop. And, and that's definitely something that I've never, ever, ever heard anybody say. So GameStop is kind of just a place that people tolerate because there's no other giant chain that really competes in the same market. I mean, you know, you can kind of go to Best Buy and Walmart for games, but they don't have used games and they don't really have all like the, the guidebooks and all this other stuff. You know, GameStop is like a specialized store where you can go to buy and sell used games. So it, there's really no competition in that specific market where places like FYE and Game and Best Buy and stuff like that have tried to compete but they just haven't been able to stack up because they just showed up way too late to the game, no pun intended, uh, and that's kind of just it. So there's really no competition. I mean there was EB Games and then GameStop bought EB Games. So it's like okay, fuck, we gotta just deal with the GameStop now. Like shit, it's kind of like a parasite that's just spread across the United States. But anyway, I want to tell you a little story about why I hate GameStop and there's plenty of reasons why I mean and the most obvious is going in there with a stack of games huge armfuls and duffel bags and like boxes full of shit and they're like yeah we'll give you a nickel for all that shit it's like okay guy fuck off but no I want to tell you a story that a you probably can relate to and B was not that long ago uh, so it's not like oh GameStop used to do this and now it's changed no this was recent this was like a less than a year ago probably six months ago so I really had the itch to play a Super Smash Bros game I was playing Smash 4 with my friends in my apartment uh, and I was like you know what I should buy Smash 4 you know I was playing on a friend's copy and I was like I have I've owned a Wii U forever uh, and I've never played Smash 4 on the Wii U so I should probably buy it. it's the newest Smash Bros out right so you know I should probably pick a copy up so I go down to GameStop and I'm like I want to buy a brand new I don't want to use copy I just want it to be like perfect condition you know really really nice I, I don't mind paying the extra five ten bucks for it to be brand new it's, it's cool uh, so I go into GameStop and this is what I pick up uh, and this is exactly what I got and you're probably thinking Omniarch what is the problem with this 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 is exactly what I got and by that I mean there was no plastic wrap on the game uh, and they sold it to me new for the new price of $60 or yeah I think it was $60 actually we have the receipt right here this is proof that I bought it at GameStop uh, so we can even see what date this was so this was October 22nd so again like I said uh, like 10 months ago not not even 10 months ago and it was $59.99 uh, you can see it I don't want to show any like information or whatever um, but you can see it was $59.99 okay it, the autofocus is off but whatever okay, you get the you get the idea right so um, I go in there I buy a new game with no plastic wrap on it mind you for full price of $60 right I walk out of the store and immediately I'm kind of pissed because I'm like it's not new okay and I know a lot of people might think this is nitpicking but let me tell you if I bought this brand new on GameStop and then immediately wanted to sell it on eBay I could not sell it as new because everybody in the fucking world knows that this is not new it's not new it's open it's open I don't give a shit if no one's played it it's not new it's like new the condition is like new it's it hasn't been played it hasn't been touched it's like new it's not new it's not new you cannot sell this thing to anybody and say it's new it's not brand new because it's open okay it doesn't have the factory seal from the factory that it came from so it's therefore not new so that's my gripe with that the fact that they're selling me new games that are not sealed therefore not new um, so they're lying anyway that aside I'm kind of pissed that they just sold it to me like that but you know I'm not gonna say anything at the counter because I'm like okay the case is in good condition like if the disc is perfect then it's not a big deal right it's not a huge deal so I so I open it up and uh, I, I at the time I worked at a game store um, my current sponsors, past, Pastime Legends. Um, so at the time, I know what to look for in new and used games. So I, I open up the the case and I just I'm in the mall still and I hold it up to the light and wouldn't you know it, there's a huge scratch on the top of the disc and I'm like, uh, okay, that's clearly not gonna work um, because if you guys don't know, the data for a game is actually stored. On this on the top layer of the disc 
and all of this gloss is just a coating protecting that layer uh, and it also enables the CD drive to read it and whatever. So if you actually scratch the 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 uh, you know the paint or whatever on top of here, if you scratch it, then the laser of the, whatever game console you're using will pass right through the disc. Which is why, if you hold it to the light, you can see right through the disc. Uh, if the laser passes through there, it can't read the data because it doesn't have anything to, you know, read up against because the laser's passing right through it. So you can't read the data because it's going past it. You know, it's going through through the disc. So, um, so I look at it and there's a huge gash on the top, and I'm just like, okay, clearly. This is not a new game because if it were new, there wouldn't be a huge scratch on the top. Uh, and I could tell by the size of the scratch that the game would not work. The game just simply wouldn't. So had I gone home and put it in there, I would be able to tell immediately that the game would not function and I have to come back and be like, what the hell, you said it was new, whatever. Uh, but since I had the foresight to check because I, at the time, like I said, worked at a video game store, I just wanted to double check. Uh, you know, instead of taking their word for it, I wanted to just make sure it was new, and lo and behold, you can't trust GameStop. So, I took the disc out, like I said, immediately turned around, and I went up to the counter, I'm like, hey, I just bought this brand new, and the disc has a huge scratch in it, you can look it up at the light, it's obvious there's a huge scratch, uh, so clearly it's not a new game. And the guy was like, oh, oh wow, that's pretty crazy, I like, I can't believe it, like, I don't know. I guess maybe we gave you the the used copy or something. I'm not sure. Uh, so he puts it away and and gives me the other copy that he had in a drawer or whatever. I look at it. It's pretty much brand new. Uh, well, it was. It was brand new. I would say. Um, no no scratches or anything. I look at it. It's perfect. It's still perfect to this day. And I take it home and I play it. And that's that. Um, but the moral of the story is, GameStop charged me for a new game and then sold me not a sealed game an open game and then clearly put the used game in the fucking box so i want to know how often does that happen how often do people go into gamestop and they think they're buying a brand new game and then gamestop's just selling you the used version that they just paid somebody a couple of days ago 50 cents for or whatever the might game the case might be uh, and then bam you just got a new game um, and, and whatever and if you don't check and the game works perfectly fine then there's no questions asked you never check and you don't care because it works uh, but GameStop still makes out like a bandit because they just sold you a 60 other game well you could have bought it for you know 48 used but no they sold it to you for 60 even though it was the used version and I'm not saying that the employees are doing this maliciously and I'm not saying that the company itself is telling them to do this uh, you know maliciously but I'm saying if you're gonna sell a game new in an open box these things can happen uh, these things will happen because they happen to me and I'm sure that it happens all the time uh, so that's my issue with with GameStop's selling things new policy. It's bullshit because it's not new. I will argue with you forever about how you can tell me no one's ever played it. First off, you can't prove that. You just can't prove it. Like, what am I going to just take your word for? Like, I guess I could do that, but you, you can't prove it, right? Second off, it's not new because I can't sell it as new. If I were to go to Walmart or whatever and buy this game, it would come sealed in plastic. And if I wanted, I could then sell it on eBay or anywhere else and say, hey, this is new. And anyone buying it would be able to see, oh yeah, it is. It's clearly new. No one could have possibly played it, which is the key difference. Because if you're buying it open like this, then someone potentially could have played it or you could have used it to test the system or something like that. So that's my first gripe is that you sold me the case off the shelf new and then gave me a used game and i paid full new price for it uh, and it wasn't new and you're probably getting away with doing this many times a year at every location to people who don't check and then the game magically works or whatever um and then bam they got away with it so that's the problem with GameStop. And that's just one problem, right? That's just one instance of, of how GameStop sucks. Obviously, everybody knows that if you go in there with a stack of games that are like Super Smash Bros. and Zelda, they're going to be like, oh, here's $10. And then they're going to flip it for $55 on the shelf. And it's like, you're an asshole. Like, I, I know the games are worth more than that. So there's a million reasons why you really just shouldn't 
support GameStop. I mean, they, they just, they suck. And, and like I said, you can't get around buying stuff there because they're really the only specialty game store that is nationwide in the United States. Um, and uh, with them buying EB Games, there's even more of them. And, and, and like I said, that's really your, your only option. So, um, what I would recommend is pre-ordering games on like Amazon or somewhere else. That's just what I've been doing lately. Especially with Amazon Prime, you get the games like 10 or 20% off. Plus, it comes on day of release, which is awesome. Um, but what I want to ask you guys to do, and this is this is what I'm gonna ask of you guys, and this is super super quick. If you guys could just go to the link in the description, and when you click on that, you can click on goods and services and vote. For pastime legends video games as your favorite video game store in the capital region and I know that maybe many of you guys who are watching this don't live where I live right um, but the only people beating my sponsor pastime legends is GameStop that's right they are beating uh, the my sponsor in this area as the best video game store in my area uh, and you don't even have to have been to the store that that sponsors me to know that they're far superior than GameStop. When they're pricing things, they're taking eBay prices into account when they're paying you money. And people are constantly coming to Pastime Legends because they're going to get more for the same stuff than they would have gotten had they gone to GameStop. I cannot tell you while working there the number of times people say, I just was at GameStop, I had a terrible experience, and I'm never going back there. I'm going to trade in my system here, and I'll buy whatever I wanted because you guys have it in stock anyway, uh, because they do have PS4, Xbox One, stuff like that. So again, if you guys could just go down to the link in the description uh, and vote for Pastime Legends Video Games as your favorite video game store, I would greatly appreciate it. Again, you don't have to do it. Uh, if you don't feel like it, that's totally fine, but I would really, really appreciate it uh, if you could help me and Pastime Legends out in beating GameStop for the best video game chain in my, like, best game store in the area. Are you kidding me? Like, absolutely not. The GameStop that, that is beating us is the one that sold me this game. The one that was open with the giant scratch on top. There's no way that they're a better video game store. Like, get the hell out of here. So, if you guys could really, if you, it would mean so much to me if you would go down and vote. It's really, really fast. You just go in, uh, you, you go scroll all the way down to where it says best video game store. You type in Pastime Legends Video Games. That's four words. Uh, Pastime Legends video games um, and then just fill out the information you could put in like uh, whatever email you want uh, and that's pretty much it so I would really really appreciate it if you guys would do that like I said you don't have to but I thought it would be a great opportunity to tell you about my really shitty experience buying Super Smash Bros for Wii U at my local GameStop uh, the reason why I buy or pre-order all my games on Amazon now and also to let you guys know that you have an opportunity right now to just take a huge shit in GameStop's face, at least for me locally, uh, in helping Pastime Legends beat them. So I would really appreciate it. Again, click the link in the description. And if you're new around here and this is the first video that you've ever seen of mine, make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, turn on notifications by digging the bell and like the video and comment down below telling me any of your shitty GameStop experiences because I'm sure if you're a gamer, you've had a shitty GameStop experience and I want to hear about them because I think that's hilarious. Uh, and that's about it. So thank you guys so much. We can we can talk in the comment section below. We can kind of, uh, you know, just mutually hate GameStop together because it's, it's just something to do and it's really fun. So that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch, and I'm talk to you guys again soon. Peace.